Today, we're talking about cloud run, cloud logging, and best practices for compute engine. I'm Roger Martinez, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news from the safety of home. Cloud Run is now integrated with Cloud Code, making it easier to develop with Cloud Run by incorporating common workflows with your IDE, like creating new Cloud Run services. You can continue to develop and debug these services on your local machine, then deploy them with Cloud Run. After that, once they're running, Cloud Code also helps you manage and update those services. Cloud logging was designed to help developers and operators easily identify the cause of infrastructure issues. Since easy can always be easier, we'll keep working to improve this service. For example, we just launched the beta for suggested queries, which will recommend logs that provide context on your recent error reporting groups, alerting incidents, and other valuable logging data. It's important to keep your VMs up to date with OS patches, but managing that for large deployments can quickly become a challenge. While there isn't a magical answer that works for everyone, there are a number of best practices that you can follow. This list was based off of patterns of other Google Cloud customers with large compute engine deployments and includes ideas like maintaining flexible deployment groups and setting a disruption budget. The latest Google Cloud white paper is Cloud Key Management Service Deep Dive, which focuses on the inner workings of Google's Cloud Key Management Service platform and the key management capabilities that are currently available. That's because we believe that making encryption key management more performant, secure, and compliant will only be possible if it's done transparently. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. Any thoughts or ideas? Leave us a comment or tweet us. We'll see you in the cloud.